Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D. Backwich here at about half six on uh, Wednesday evening, but a few for tomorrow. Uh, no great luck today. Um, also, she went one to four in running coming up the straight. Uh, all we can do is read the forum, what's in front of us. We can't know what's hidden in the locker. There was money for the winner, uh, 33s into sevens. I think it was a return or something like that. So we, we weren't aware that that much was under the handbrake, under the bonnet. Uh, it was one of those days where if that wasn't in it, we had a winner. Um, I didn't see the one in the first race yet. I've seen the result, trusting in the first five. I can't comment on that. The kids come out of school at 10 to 4 and that race at 5 to 4. So I have no special needs assistance. So I can't be seen with the phone trying to... Uh, do anything with it while I'm driving or you'll be up before the man with the wig um, and then blind beggar uh, money for him all day looked like he was the one the other one drifted from 13 to 8 out to 100 to 30 and boom so uh, one of those days but we had a good winner last night after I doing uh, the video Kit Hogg uh, 20 to 1 the night before I thought it would run better than its odds. Um, and it finished. You couldn't see the way it finished in the previous race. Uh, because it was out. Way, way back so far and it came to stand side. But I knew it had to have finished fastest. And it finished similar last night. There's another race or two in that. It'll probably get an 8 or 10 pound hike. But I'd, I'd imagine they'd have it out quick again on that surface. There was something I forgot to say in that um, video. That was second in, to Mut Jabba. In its second run, Mujaba, we tipped up in the Cambridgeshire last week, so it's it's a lightly raced horse. Uh, so we'll we'll have a bit of fun with that, I think, in the next couple of times it run. Um, that I forgot to say as well. That video I done yesterday evening was my two hundred video since I started. I I done the first one in uh, it was only thirty seconds long. Uh, I think it was the twenty fourth or the twenty fifth of February, and. Uh, I wouldn't have missed too many days since. I think uh, there may be only a handful in the meantime. So there's 406,000 over it, four, nearly 407,000 views in of the 200 videos. So the bus is getting bigger all the time. So that's good to see. And I've got peace of mind. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it is hard work at times. It's mind... Um, uh, rewarding though that's the main thing and that's the reason I was at it and that's the way I'll continue um, somebody mentioned in a comment there today I think it was Adam O'Sullivan about uh, going through the Prix de l'Arc uh, well that's a possibility I, I always would I always do it but I have a I have a thing to do on Saturday I have to pick up a busload I think it's 15 or 16 people at 6 a.m. on Saturday morning and I have to head to Willie Mullins' yard in Clos Sutton in County Carlow for, uh, it'd be a, that's about a three hour drive and we're having, uh, we're watching the horses working out we're having breakfast in Willie Mullins' and we are going to the races in Goran Park, we're all getting free passes and we're getting dinner at the racetrack and a programme as well. Uh, compliments of Job W.P. Mullins. The reason he's doing that is uh, there was a man where I'm picking him up on the uh, the Miura Scalman border and he had a heart transplant a couple of years, uh, about a year and a half ago. He nearly went. He only early 60s. And he, had, he used to have a horse or two down through the years of Willie Mullins. So he's having a fundraiser recently and uh, Willie put up this um, uh, prize or not a prize, what he wanted to offer and it went for auction. I think it went for two and a half thousand. So it's the people that bought that for two and a half thousand that I'm bringing. But the man that had the heart transplant, he's traveling by car behind us and he's paying for the bus and he's paying for dinner coming home. We're having it in Tullamore, I think. So. I'll be going out of here at about uh, quarter past five on uh, Saturday morning and God knows what time I'll be back. So we'll see how we're fixed for doing uh, a video. Uh, if they're having dinner in, in Tullamore 
I might do it then on the way back uh, because I probably won't have a chance after the race or maybe I might get an opportunity after the race in, in Gordon Park we'll see I'm really looking forward to visiting uh, Willie I might be able to see we'll be able to get uh, a couple of for the winter for the passengers on the bus I'm looking forward to seeing Alaho and Gallop and Deschamps Alaho I've got good money out from the last couple of years so uh, looking forward to that uh, if any of any questions or any horses that you might want me to uh, check out uh, put them in the comments and uh, looking forward to it anyway um, we haven't any 20 to 1 for tomorrow but um, there's a couple of that we'll see um, Ryan Moore rides a horse tomorrow for um, it's in the half five it's a mile six race uh, La, La Pulga for Roger Charlton it's a three year old but with the, he's getting an eight pound weight allowance. Uh, he's only a three year old with the rest of them, and uh, the step up to mile six is unknown territory, I suppose. But uh, it ran well enough in a decent contest the last time behind uh, that good old horse, Arume, Um To suggest he was up at the pace all through that they were trying to use his stamina to best effect. So uh, the step up to two furnace may suit. It's a hundred to thirty, a point win on that. And at the three o'clock in Clan Mill, it's a two and a half mile. Um, Handicap hurl. Appy and Wales in it. I backed him in uh, last Friday down in the stall. Um, I backed him at 9 to 1. I backed him each way. But uh, I thought that he should stay at that distance as opposed to drop him back in trip. Although he travelled well enough through the race. But there's a horse in it um, that I've sort of been waiting for to run since um, August. Um, hard target. And it finished third. Um, in the race that might bite, or bite that, have a full brother to bite, uh, might bite, bite that uh, one. Uh, we were on it that day in Tremor. I think it was the 14th of August. And he was out the back of the pack. He travelled well and looked like uh, he was going to be, well, we made a mistake too out that we nearly went to grief. But um, that was over two miles. So the, it looked like the step up and trip with suit. And Danny Mullins is riding it. And Danny, I always, when he rides for a small trainer, it's David Harry Kelly. He doesn't ride that often for him. Now, he'd be doing the handicapping as well. He wouldn't be riding a dud. So I'm looking at that sort of that um, it has the right chance. It's 11 to 2, a pint each way. Um, it's only five year old and it's a mark of 86. I think, no, it's down to 82 now. It started off 86. It's only his third run in a handicap. And one last chance to Florence Thompson tomorrow. It's a lesser contest. Back to five furlongs. Travels well to the race, doesn't seem to get home at six. A fast run five is drawn nine. Joey Sheridan takes off three. Um, it was second and Cork, or third and Cork on Tuesday. But if it runs tomorrow, you'd imagine it should be competitive. It was fourth the last time it ran at um, five furlongs to Harry's Hill that won that race today that we had Blind Beggar in. And one final um, thought uh, very elegant, doesn't make the Prix de l'Arc field on. Uh, Sunday to the annoyance of the trainer and the owners that had been geared in it for it. They had two prep runs and the handicapper dropped it a pound and it didn't get in. And there's a maximum field of 20 this year. So they wouldn't supplement it in for 120,000. So they're entered in this because they couldn't de declare uh, two races. You can't do that in France. You can't declare for two races in the one day or two days in a row. You can't declare uh, Saturday and Sunday. So they're going for the lesser one pot. So I'd imagine they'll be very competitive in this. We're trying to win it. To annoy the, uh, the crowd in charge over there. And to satisfy the owners. It's 3-1. to one. Um, I think we're going to have a pint win on that. That Saturday is on at 2.50 in Longchamps. I'll be in Gordon at the time. Anyway, I'm rattling on a bit too much today. Um, looking forward to the next 200. Hopefully we can... Uh, Get the, the another another bus. I might have a man driving it in a few weeks for me. I, I always every driver needs a sub or a a spare driver, and I think I have one found. Good luck.